We are continuing with a great panel on this discussion of Ebola in the U.S. right here beside me. In addition to Olga Villaverde of Newsmax TV, we have Dr. Raul Perez Vazquez. We also have in our newsroom Nick Tate. Uh, of NewsmaxHealth.com and uh, from Harvard Yard, Harvard Law School, medical ethicist I, Glenn Cohen. And so, uh, Glenn, let's start with you. Your reaction to the comments of Senator Rand Paul. So I don't agree with, with uh, uh, Senator Paul for the following reasons. First of all, I think, you know, the medical facts, and I know you have a doctor by you, uh, are such that the transmission of Ebola is not like the transmission of diarrhea. You really do need to have contact with the bodily fluid, contact and avoid the spread. But the biggest reason why I disagree with Senator Paul is the most effective way to prevent uh, Ebola spreading in the United States is to prevent Ebola spreading in Africa, right? If you have lots of African nations infected, the amount of travel back and forth of regular people, forget about sailors, is such that the risk to the United States would be greater. So if it's a question of what to do to try to protect the United States, I think the administration is acting appropriately. Well, doctor, let's go to you. Those bodily fluids include perspiration, sweat, do they not? I mean, in a, in a ship environment? Um, I don't think it's definite, but yes, all the others, such as saliva, blood, vomitus, diarrhea, all those are infectious. In symptomatic patients, of course, we need to make that clear. Is the administration taking the right approach right now, in your opinion? Um, I think I, I agree with uh, with Glenn here that we, we really need to contain the spread. With regards to that, the administration is working with the, with the World Health Organization and the CDC um, to limit the spread in the African nations. Uh, we also need to identify correctly those travelers coming into the United States, and that is also a big uh, part of the solution. Nick, we know we have sent troops over there as well as money and supplies, and you and I were just talking about this a few minutes ago before we went on the air. British Airlines has eliminated all flights to and from West Africa. Should we shut down travel to these nations, Nick? I spoke with two doctors last week who both said that that's absolutely what we should be doing, is until we can get this outbreak under control in West Africa, we need to be restricting the travel between here and there, particularly for just people who are traveling for reasons that are not related to controlling the outbreak. I will tell, tell you one other thing, and I would ask the doctors what their opinion is on, on travel restrictions. There's a new poll out by nurse, of nurses that finds that more than 60 percent believe that hospital ERs are not prepared to handle a huge outbreak of Ebola. So if they're the front point of the spear of our attack in this country in controlling Ebola, seems to me that there's concerns on this side by medical professionals and we need to be doing everything we can to keep people from coming over here with the virus. Glenn, you said that the right thing to do was to combat it in West Africa. Should we likewise have travel restrictions from that area? So the real question is whether the travel restrictions will be effective. What you're worried about is giving people incentives to hide their symptoms and the like or to uh, not report themselves uh, to aid we can go back and forth. But certainly, if you think that the travel restrictions will be effective and you think it won't get in the way of uh, infection control, there is a reason to at least adopt more stringent limits on who's traveling. Nick, the CDC is considering changing the screening procedures. Do you think that's a step in the right direction? Well, the, what, they, what they are looking at, what they're talking about in the White House today is putting uh, more restrictions in U.S. airports to look at folks who are coming in, checking for symptoms, making sure that anybody coming in with symptoms is, is separated. And right now, folks are being checked as they leave West Africa, but nobody's really taking a look at the folks once they land here, even if they know in the airports, customs knows where they're coming from. So that seems like a reasonable step to me. Doctor, 30 seconds. Should we be restricting any flights uh, into the United States from the nations in West Africa? I think uh, careful uh, studies need to be done uh, in order to, if, if that will limit the spread, into the United States, then, then by all means we should. All right, gentlemen, we appreciate uh, the contributions to the debate. Dr. Raul Perez Vazquez right here on our anchor desk, Nick Tate from our Newsmax newsroom, and from Harvard Law School medical ethicist, I. Glenn Cohen. Gentlemen, to you all again, our thanks. So what is your take? All this talk about Ebola, does it raise more questions or do you have some definite ideas? Why don't you send us your response at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum via Twitter, and we'll be back with more right after this.